Hello guys, this is Anjali Vakhas Ahmed and I welcome in today's session. A lot of people have requested me to make one video which will help them to generate S curves using Data Primavera P6 spreadsheets and export that data into Excel and generate manual S curves. So yes, here I am. I am having uh, this uh, airport construction project. Uh, there are not uh, too many activities just to ease you guys with the uh, practice of this uh, today's uh, strategy, how to generate S curves. So I hope you are going to find it in very amazing way. So what I'm going to do, you can see that uh, I have this project. Uh, I'm going to use actually, there is one most important feature in Primavera P6 report wizard. So you have to follow this step uh, one by one or uh, step by step. So how to do this one? First of all, uh, this is a cost assigned project. Okay. So the first thing you have to go into the tools, click report wizard. And this is a uh, window will show up and I'm going to use current screen because I will not uh, in need of any extra column. Okay. I need S curve. So I need time distributed data. So I'll click on this one. I need activities next. And here I have three options columns. If I need any extra column, I can transfer that required column from this side to this area. But right now I have no such kind of uh, demand. So I'll close this. Group and sort by this is going to change coloring or any kind of formatting is going to help me a lot uh, in Primavera P6. But right now I'm only uh, thinking that I should change this color because it's not uh, eye smoothening color, yellow with the white background. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And uh, if I need something extra, I can click or if I'm using activity codes, uh, codes I can use, uh, you know, activity codes over here. But right now I'm going to, go, uh, you know, make my ask for my simple plane project. So I'm OK with that and uh, apply. And then again, there is one more option filter if I'm going to use S curve data, cash flow data for certain kind of activities, for certain timeline, for certain. So we can make filters, but right now we don't need this one as well. So I'm pretty okay with that data. And next, there is very, very important uh, information right now I'm having. Okay. So what is that information actually uh, I'm sharing with you people is uh, that uh, time scale information. Okay. Uh, you can have make sure that your project must be starting from your this side project start date and should be ending up on this project finish date interval can be changed from this area okay i am good with months okay and then time interval fields there is actually cumulative area and time interval areas and i'll share with you one whiteboard information with you people that s curve is actually means s curve is actually means there are cumulative values along y-axis and uh, there is a timeline along x-axis okay then it's going to produce s curve this is y-axis x-axis there is cumulative values. It can be cost. It can be man hours. It can be percentage divided into weightages. And here it's timeline and how it will make S curve. Okay. So now I'm going to share with you guys this one. So from cumulative, I need for generation of uh, this S curve, I need cumulative budget total cost like this one. See, okay. I have selected this certain option. And uh, next. I can rename it an airport construction project, whatever you have project name, you can name it. Next, run report. And here I have one very good tip for you guys to um, export data into Excel in very, you know, shortcut way, HTML file. You should uh, generate this file. Next, just wait a moment. Yes. Okay. Let me share with you people how it looks like. See, this is HTML link and you can see time distributed area. There are uh, certain columns, color changes, everything. Every activity is given this design. Design will be uh, 1 lakh 60,000, 4 lakhs. See, things are given in timeline area. 
So now I will just make single click, control A. I will select everything and I will make control C, the command to copy data. And now I'm going to make sure where is Excel? See, here is Excel. I'll generate a new file, control V. So here is data we have copied from Primera P6 using report visit feature. And uh, you can see how data is uh, shown up over here. This is time distributed area where our cumulative budget cost against every activity is shown. If we have taken time interval values, then approach to create S curve would be different. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add up each and everything over here because we have this single cost is cumulative cost, but we have to add it on over here. and. Uh, how to do that one, just make one formula like this and uh, it's done. Just drag this cell till end of this column uh, row and here it is, okay? So now what we need to do this timeline and uh, just make formatting for that one, May. Okay, like this way, and uh, see this one, control on keyboard, like this way, and there is one option, insert, go into this area, and uh, this one. Now, how, why this is uh, happening like this way? Because in January, there is very steep, consumption of money i'm not uh, there is no question about that it should be smooth if data would be smooth but uh, what happened it was a dummy project but it was only the thing to understand where is the january okay in january there is a steep amount where is january this one and yes from this january to fab c there was 2 million to 22 million. So that's why it's showing the same way. But this is the methodology you can use to generate S curves in your Excel using your data. Okay. So that's it. Thank you very much.